Hello and welcome back to this video series on Composer. In the last two videos we discussed CSS and just to remind you if I click on the CSS icon we spoke about elements of type, elements of class. In this video we're going to talk about custom style rules. If we check that and drop down box we can see the, the internal style sheet includes the A active, A hover a link and a visited attributes and that refers to these hyperlinks here we actually see a hyperlink is blue and underlined we could change a style so that when we hovered over it with our cursor the style would change and if we were on an active page we could also change a color usually that's purple by default what I want to do is change the style of these links so that ordinarily they're red without any underlining when we hover over them they remain red but become underlined and if they're active or visited they just stay as normal red which avoids us having multiple colors in our line which it's not that attractive so open up the style sheets and we want to create a custom style and we're going to change the link to start with create new style rule and the text as I say we want that to be Arial we'll have it red okay and we'll have no text decoration okay that's still got the underline on there let's see if I can change that go back to the style sheet the A link the text text decorations click on none okay and that removes the underlining okay next we want to change it so that when hovered it becomes underlined so go back to the CSS create a new style custom style rule hover create style rule text so also Arial color red okay and we want this to be underlined okay and there you can see when I hover my cursor over it it becomes underlined and finally we create a new style for the visited create style rule and I want that to be Arial and red no decoration okay and finally we've done the link we've done the hover we've done the visited and the active we wish to make that red too red okay Arial no underlining okay if we save that and take a look at that in our browser okay here's our link so you see we change them to red and when we hover over them that's supposed to be on the line but for some reason it's not let me see if I can work that out nope that's not working let me go back to our composer page let's take a look at that style sheet okay sometimes the issue is browser compatibility just because something works in Internet Explorer doesn't guarantee it works in Firefox and vice versa so in this instance for a workaround I'm going to change the attribute to the border so I'm still on a hover go to borders um, I'm going to uncheck this box all four sides use the same border style I'm going to change the bottom border to a solid line um, pixel weight of one pixel and color red okay so that has the same effect as placing an underline and hopefully that will work in all browsers okay let's see so that works okay on the um, composer page if I save that and look at it in the browser okay 
Okay, yep. So there's just a little workaround to show you these things aren't perfect and there are little nuances between browsers you have to be aware of and work out these workarounds. Now if I were to click on one of these links that say the contact us, that takes us to the contact us page we made earlier. And as you can see, because we never set any styles for that page, it's gone back to the defaults, which is purple for the visited links. Go back to home. And you can see the styles are effect on the home page that we changed. So this would be a good idea to show you how we can use the same style sheet across the entire website. Okay, so let's close this down and go back to our composer window. And if you look on the source code, remember I touched in an earlier video, whereby at the top of the page, in between these style tags, was the actual style sheet so to speak and we really want our websites or our web pages to refer to these styles across the board so what we can do if we go back to our normal page click on cascades and there's a little box here which says export style sheets so if we click on that and uh, we can save the file as a style sheet I'm going to call it style dot css so whatever you call it it needs to end in dot css we'll save that now you see the change up there which means it's no longer referring to the internal style sheet but to this style sheet file that you've just created okay and if we look at our source at the top of the page all that style text has gone and has been replaced by this link to the style sheet that we just created okay so if we open up our other pages the contact and about us page open contact as you can see there's no style formatting on there so to apply that formatting that we've already used go to go to the palette icon and click on the down arrow click on linked style sheet choose a file the file being the style sheet we just exported earlier double click on that click on create style sheet and you can see that's imported the style sheet dot css okay and that's changed our style to match our previous page now if you take a look at the source code and that refers to the, the style sheet there with that link okay and also we need to change the about us page so we'll open up the about us page cascades link style sheet choose the file double click on style create style sheet okay and we need to save that uh, just a note while we're on this screen next to the title is this red disk icon which means what you're looking at isn't currently saved it's just a little reminder there from Composer. So if we click on save, that disappears. Contact us page, click on save, that's disappeared. So all our files are now saved and all the style sheets have been updated to point to that one single style sheet as our point of reference. So let's take a look at that in our browser. Okay, and we can flick between the home, the contact, and the about us. And we see that style sheet has been applied across the board. Okay, so let's close down these windows and take a look what we've done over the course of these videos so far. Okay, remember here, this is the folder we created to contain all of our files and images, etc. So if we open that up, you see we created a folder called images and that contains all our images. We created a website we called index. This is our main page or our home page, and this is the page that will load up load up when you type your domain name into your browser. And these are the other web pages we designed. And they all have links to and um, from each other. And this is the style sheet which is applied to these websites. So 
any website templates you download will probably take this format and you'll be able to understand all being well exactly how they work and you can start creating your own masterpieces so all that remains for us to do now is to upload these files to our own web host and we'll discover more about that in the next video so have a great day i'll see you then